new in the power pack for 2018 for advanced steel is a new command called header beam. This command allows me to connect a column element with a rafter element and create a header beam connection. You can see that it is a dialog box driven where I have a series of tabs where I can specify changes to the components and you can see that the model will automatically update and reflect these changes. As part of the system I can specify whether I want bolts on the rafter and also bolts on the column elements. If I am including the bolts I then have the ability to specify the number of row and the number of spacing that I may require on my header beam connection. As you can see that I'm going through my system and adding simply three number of rows of bolts and then I'm specifying the offset. Included within the new command is also the ability to specify whether we wish to include stiffeners on the rafter or not. A further tab is then included to also specify whether we would require additional stiffeners upon the sloped element and also the column elements. You can see that by a simple pull down and a toggle I can include or exclude the stiffener elements. When the connection is added I can use my selection filters to check and you can see that the system has created an assembly element of the stiffeners and indeed the end plate and I can check the column and as you can see it has also included the header plate and also the stiffeners.